COVID-19 has created many problems for all essential workers that affect how they do their jobs. The Redwood City Police Department has had to overcome these challenges and adapt to the new normal. We took every single precaution that you could think of. Uh, we thought initially that this virus was really going to do like a bunch of damage. I mean, it's done a bunch of damage, but we were thinking, okay, this is probably going to affect 25% of our department, 50% of our department. And if that happens, you know, what are the changes that we have to make, right? So we were, we were planning for the future, you know, avoid as much contact as possible. So right now you don't see me wearing a mask, uh, but that's because I have my own office with the door closed. But usually if, if I'm out there writing reports or if I'm with my partners or just out in the open areas, I'm wearing my mask, even if I'm indoors. And those are all steps that we're doing just to protect ourselves. Uh, those are some of the more recent ones. Obviously, like I said, we did a lot of preparation beforehand. Um, you know, we have sand, hand sanitizer everywhere. We have hand sanitizers in the cars. We have wipes where we wipe down our police cars. There's just a bunch of things. Basically, we're calling everybody on the phone and having them come out. And we're still doing that because it's, it, it avoids us having to go into their homes and then us dragging new stuff into their homes and stuff like that. So a lot of, a lot of the officers now or just get it on the front. Hey, do me a favor, come outside. Let's talk at the police car or whatever. And that's, that'll be our office. We're getting used to it. I mean, it's been since March and it's, it's almost becoming normal to us, unfortunately. Um, but we've adapted just like all the businesses have and stuff like that. And we'll continue to adapt. Reporting for Scott Center News, I'm Josh Barty.